Hi there, today's a fun video. We are diving into the thrift store world and turning overlooked items you can upcycle and you've probably just walked right by them. Get ready for four easy upcycling projects and I'm gonna show you how you can transform those bypass treasures into something fabulous. So, and make sure you stay through to the end because I've got an incredible hack to upgrade those outdated wicker baskets. So grab your crafting tools and join me while we get doing some upcycling. Let's get started. Thrift stores often have an overwhelming number of picture frames and it can be a challenge to find the perfect one, but taking the time to sort through them is worth it. Recently, I found a beautiful wooden frame that caught my eye. Although I didn't like the print in the middle, I decided to upcycle it. First, I used a scuff pad to remove any imperfections that were on the wood, giving it that rustic look. And then I printed a graphic from my Etsy store on my laser printer. I'm gonna give it a vintage touch and I think it's gonna blend better with the frame with a coffee stain. I love the primitive farmhouse style, but feel free to add your own twist on any of these techniques that suits your decor. Coffee staining is a simple way to give plain paper a rustic vintage look. All you need is some instant coffee and some warm water and a sponge. Just dab the mixture all over the print, ensuring that it covers the paper evenly. And then I like to use a heat gun because it dries it really quick and we can get crafting faster. This method is perfect for creating a fast, charming, coffee stained effect on all of your papers and it's going to work great for this project. I'm going to attach that print with some Mod Podge. I've got my Mod Podge mat and I'm just spreading it out over top of that print that was there before. Now I couldn't pull it out. It had been glued down previously so it's going to stay put. I'm not going to make a mess trying to rip it out and I'm just going to glue right on top of it. And if you don't have any Mod Podge in your stash, you can make some homemade Mod Podge. I have a fantastic recipe for that. I'll put the link down below in the description, or you can just use any type of crafting glue. And then to finish it off, I want to seal it up again with that Mod Podge mat. And I'm kind of stippling it on because it gives that old look to the paper, like an old oil painting. What a fantastic thrift store find at such a reasonable price. I might have overlooked it if I hadn't caught my eye amongst all of the sea of frames. So take your time, look through the frames, and you might be surprised what you find. I love this one. What do you think? I came across these wooden pieces at a yard sale actually, and I think they were probably meant for a wooden crate. It would be the end pieces that you hung onto. However, I immediately saw the potential for them to be transformed into cutting boards. And since my cutting boards sell really well, I grabbed them all. I'm gonna start by coffee staining them, which I love because it's affordable and easy to mix up. And then I'm going to make them food grade and safe for kitchen use. I'm gonna use some butcher block oil. It's important to thoroughly clean and sand them before applying the coffee stain. And then once they're sealed with that butcher block oil, people can confidently use them in their kitchen if they decide to purchase them. So don't forget to check the tool section at the thrift store for scrap wood pieces like this or when you're out yard sailing, you might find some hidden gems. These wooden scraps won't last long because they have great potential for various DIY projects. So keep an eye out for these as they tend to sell really quickly. I stumbled upon poor little Josh's toolbox tucked away in the back corner of the thrift store surrounded by tools. It immediately caught my attention and I knew I had to bring it home. However, I had to give it a personal touch and make it fit my decor. So I grabbed my 80 grit sandpaper and I gently sanded that entire toolbox to remove all of the lettering. After sanding down all that lettering, I rummaged through my paint stash and I found a red paint that actually matched almost perfectly with the existing color on the toolbox. I felt like it was fate, as if the project was meant to be. I applied a light coat of that paint all over the toolbox to blend everything together seamlessly. While thrift store shopping, remember to pay attention to the items that may seem outdated or easily overlooked. This little toolbox had likely been sitting there for quite a while, just waiting for someone to give it some love. With just a little bit of paint, some sanding, I transformed it beautifully. It's amazing what a small effort can do to breathe new life into neglected items. 
Instead of using this toolbox as intended, I'm gonna give it a twist and turn it into a towel holder. I'm gonna attach some sawtooth hangers to the back and making sure that they're even and level, ensuring that they're positioned just right. And with a few screws, the hangers are gonna be securely in place. Let me show you a great way to revamp those old dated wicker baskets that you often find in the thrift store. They're quite common, but don't always match today's styles, especially with that orange or dark stain. The handles are another issue, not quite appealing. However, removing them with a simple pair of pliers or snips is really easy. Usually the handles on wicker baskets are just pushed into place and not tightly woven in. So removing them is really easy. Next, grab a large Rubbermaid tote and fill it with warm water and add some bleach. And you can just adjust this to how much you want to bleach out your wicker baskets. Submerge them into the mixture, ensuring that they stay in place by adding a rock or something heavy. And then set them aside and let them soak overnight to work their magic. Bleaching the wicker baskets lightens the color as intended. However, the effectiveness may vary depending on the basket's material. This square basket, it responded really well. Well, this other red one, uh, it's a really strong color to remove. So it's a little bit of trial and error, but certainly worth a try. Now that the basket no longer has a dated appearance, I can fill it up with some of my other DIY projects and I think it looks absolutely fabulous. I hope you enjoyed today's thrift store upcycles and I'd love to know down in the comments which one was your favorite one. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and if you love this video, I'm sure you're gonna love either of these next two. Take care.